So here we are in the search screen, which is our home screen. You can search by cuisine, cravings, dietary restrictions, people, and special events. So if you open up cuisine, you can pan through all the different types of cuisines that you might be interested in. Say I want to see Japanese. I click on Japanese. It'll show me um, five minutes away Japanese results as well as 15 minute away Japanese results. And then I can always go back and redo that search. Um, and then on the home page, it'll also always show you what restaurants and eateries are five minutes away. So whichever ones are closest to you and which ones are slightly further, but still pretty close to you. So let's go in and search by map. Um, map searching is very useful. You can always see what's around the area by just opening up the map. So in this case, I want to look at Tom's Bistro. So I'm going to click on Tom's Bistro. You get all these nice quick links for you to call the restaurant, view their menu, check out their stamps and websites. And you can hear it says that the stamp cards are available. So you can collect six stamps here and receive a free appetizer. So when you click on these quick links, they will scroll you to the correct area. That way you don't need to scroll all the way down to get to them. And yeah, so starting from the top, we have information of the restaurant, such as the hours, which are really important. And the menu, the menu right here, they have their own, pers each restaurant will have their own personalized banner. Um, it'll always display their top 10 best sellers. And um, the categories are um, clickable links that you can open up. So you can see there's they have five appetizers, 12 entrees, etc. So when I click on appetizers, you can see that all the menu items are displayed here, including their ratings and the ones with the icons of a picture and a comment box means that there are reviews and pictures available for this product. So I'm going to click on garlic prawns. And right here, we'll be able to see all the images taken by other customers that have went to this restaurant. You can also click on an image and see the actual person who took that picture as well as their review for the product. And you can also click on reviews if you just want to read the reviews instead. It also gives you a little snapshot of um, the pictures that this person has taken for that specific dish. So I'm going to exit out of here. You can do that, all those same things with entrees, desserts, and drinks. And then below that, if you just want to view all the photos, you can view it here. If you just want to view all the reviews, you can do it here. There's some um, easy search terms you can use to help you find your product faster, as well as a search bar. Um, you can see that the unique thing about this is the reviews are separated by person and within each person's review, there are multiple dishes. So you can see Annie Smith reviewed the truffle spaghettini, garlic fries, and shrimp cocktail. So those are all her reviews. Um, and then Oliver has reviewed one thing and John has reviewed three other items. And then at the very bottom is the stamp card. And this is just an easy way for restaurants to get extra engagement for their restaurant, as well as for consumers to, you know, get a little perk out of going to the restaurants they love to go to all the time. So now that we're done looking at the main page, say we want to add a review, we can just click add a review. This will pull up the um, add a review uh, section so you can either search for the dishes you just ate or you can click through these different buttons like you did before so in our case we're just going to click garlic prawns so i'm going to add that and now you can see i added garlic prawns and yam fries as the dishes that i want to review i hit next and then automatic automatically populated you can already you know star the rating of what you think about this um, dish and then you can start typing in the review as well as upload pictures and then the pictures will just automatically attach to these different reviews. Uh, you can cl click publish when you're ready. This tells you your review is published and once we go down to the review section you can see that our review was added garlic prawns and yam fries. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for the entire um, food uh, page section. We also have a fun little tool called Randomize for those that always have trouble trying to decide where to eat. Um, that's a very common occurrence. So you can see the randomizer here. You can pick how many restaurants you want it to show you. So I pick three. You can select the price range you want it to return as well as the distance, as well as including any important dietary restrictions you might have. And then you just click randomize and the results will return, the search will return results with the things that match your, um, your, your choices. And if none of these work out for you, you can just hit randomize again and they will just repeat the same search criteria that you had and but give you three different results. So I'm going to go back here now. Um, we also have your profile, which contains all of your favorited um, restaurants, as well as, you know, reviews that you may have created in the past, as well as any stamp cards that you currently have going on that is active.